everyone, I'm Erin. And I'm Dave. Welcome to Wine Myths Uncorked. Now in the great, big, wondrous world of wine, there's a lot of information out there. Some of it's good, some of it's bad, and some of it's just a little bit questionable. So with these episodes, we're going to discover the truth about all of those wine myths that have been circulating for years. We're gonna take questions that we hear in the tasting room, we also encourage you to submit any wine questions you have via Facebook or Instagram, and we're gonna actually put these myths to the test. So the first question came in from Edward P. in Chicago, Illinois. So Edward ordered a beautiful case of liquid wine, and as soon as it arrived, he opened it up and wanted to enjoy it as quickly as possible. Hey, we've all been there. Hey, you are kidding. <laughs> so he asked, what is the quickest way to chill down a bottle of wine? And I responded with what I believe to be true, is that you take a bottle of wine, you wrap it in a damp towel, and then you put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. But in fact, is that the best way to quick chill a bottle of wine? I, it made me question that. And so let's put it to the test. Yes. Well, we're gonna put it into five different tests. Well, we're gonna do one, just put it in the freezer. Number two, we're gonna wrap in that wet towel and put it in the freezer. The third one, we're gonna put it bottom down in an ice bucket. The fourth one, we're gonna put it neck down in an ice bucket. The fifth one, we're gonna give it some cool vibes and see what happens. And of course, the sixth one, <laughs> I thought ahead and chilled. <laughs> and so we're gonna go into the depths of Lakewood and put these babies to the test. See you in a second. All right, we're in the break room at Lakewood. And today's experiment, we're gonna use the long stem white, which is a fruit forward, off dry, clean finish, versatile meals to cocktail style, please the large audience white made of uh, Cuga White and Vidal Blanc. And we're going to use, of course, uh, the standard refrigerator freezer with stuff on top, picture of somebody on the front. And we're going to put the first one without anything on it directly into the freezer. The second one is going to be a wet towel and that's going to go in the freezer also. And then we are on to experiment three and four. For our third experiment, we put it bottom down in the ice bucket, and the fourth one, we put it neck down in the ice bucket. We're adding just a little water to make sure we have good contact with the bottle. Now on to the fifth one. All right, to recap, we've got two bottles in the freezer. One is wrapped in a damp cloth. We've got two bottles in ice. One is um, bottom down and the other is neck down. We put a little bit of water in there to get good surface contact. And, and then... the fifth one, we're giving some chill vibes too, you know? <laughs> Could use your help here too. And the number six one, we chilled earlier, so well, we're gonna enjoy it now. So Cheers. Chill. Okay, we have now pulled our wines out of the freezer. They've been in there for 30 minutes. Number one, which was bottle without anything in freezer, and that is 67.2. And number two was bottled with wet cloth. And that's 68 degrees. Now on to two, or three and four. All right, number three, which was bottom down, is 55.4. Number four, which was neck down, is 60.2. Now on to number five. Now, the fifth one, being the Chilled Vibes, is 45.7. Whoa! <laughs> you guys did an awesome job. Thanks for those vibes. <laughs> so, if you don't happen to have 7,000 Facebook fans giving you all those chill vibes, mm -hmm. turns out that the best way to quick chill a bottle of wine at home is in an ice bucket, a nice little ice bath, bath with water, um, putting the bottle bottom down, neck up, um, covering the bottle with as much ice and water as you can and that's going to yield the best results just give it 30 minutes and we got a nice chilled bottle so there you go myth busted i was yep. giving edward p some false information there i'm glad that we did this little test so if there's any questions that you have please send them to us on facebook or instagram and we look forward to testing them out so from all of us at wine myths uncorked cheers, cheers. see you next week thanks